Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching this video. This is my 20 minute yoga routine. Um, it doesn't matter when you do this. I love to do it in the morning. Sometimes I also do it at night though. It really helps me sleep, really helps my body to open up and flow things throughout the night or throughout the day. The whole point is we're really going to stretch out our muscles and open up our joints. It's not a lot of like physical cardio or anything like that. It's really about creating space and really letting the body feel good and letting things flow um, so that we can feel our best throughout our day, our energy, our emotions, everything can flow really nicely and be working itself out in the body. We're creating space in the body. So it's about a 20 minute routine. Um, you can do it faster if you want, make it 10, 15 minutes. You can also do it slower and make it 30 minutes once you kind of get into the groove, make it your own. Join me please at the top of your mat and we'll get started. So the very first thing I love to do is we're going to just do a sun salutation. The nice breath in and release. Just really coming present into the mat. Maybe do a couple shoulder rolls. And we're gonna start with opening up our shoulders. Rotating your right arm backwards a few times. You can do this at whatever pace feels good to you. Sometimes I do it slow or fast. And now we're gonna change directions and rotate the right arm forwards. Really feeling that shoulder starting to loosen up. And now we'll move on to the left arm when we're ready, rotating it backwards. You can hear mine popping, it really needs to loosen. Maybe yours is too. And rotating it forwards. Starting to feel the tension in the neck and the shoulders really melt away. Do a couple more shoulder rolls back. We really want to loosen that space up, especially if you work at a computer. Mm, amazing. Now we're going to have a slight bend in the knees, kind of tighten your core, because what we're going to do is rotate our spine and just breathe with it. So breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And you kind of want to do this loosely, kind of getting any kinks out of the spine. Our spine is our source of energy. So we really want to loosen that up and let everything flow nicely. And then we want to wake up our wrists. So we're going to rotate our wrists outwards a few times until we really feel them loosen. And then now let's change direction and rotate them inwards. Our joints are very important. We want to love them as much as we can. And now let's rotate our right ankle. You can rotate it counterclockwise. And then after a few times, rotate it clockwise. And then let's switch to your left foot. Rotating it counterclockwise and clockwise. Amazing, starting to really feel some space opening up. Now we're going to come into doing some more spine and core um, stretches to create space. So let's do a nice big sun salutation and breath in. And then we're gonna come down when there's a forward fold feeling the stretch in the back of our legs. We don't have to force or push anything here. Just nice and relaxed, letting your body open up in the way it's meant to, okay? And so for my morning routine, I actually kind of come out of yoga for a moment and I combine stretching. So I go down onto my butt. I like to give myself a couple spine and leg stretches, really getting these big muscles that run along our whole bodies in space. So we're gonna breathe in with our legs nice and long out, and we're gonna fold. And this might be difficult, it might be really stiff, so just breathe. Nothing to push or force. Just a couple deep breaths here. 
Feeling the spine and the back of the legs stretching. If you ever feel a lot of tension when you're stretching, if you actually send your attention into the place of tension and you just breathe and imagine it releasing, it's really incredible because it will the physical body will release and you'll create space in that place. Okay. Nice breathe in as we roll our spines up. And now we're gonna do that on both sides. So bring your right leg into you and we're gonna forward fold over our left. Again, just trying to create a little bit of extra space in the spine and the hips and the legs. And just focusing on our breath, nice deep breaths. We really want to relax into this space. Now we're going to take our right arm up and we're going to fold sideways over our, our leg. And this is a great stretch for the side of our backs. And you can even open up your chest more to the ceiling and feel that get even deeper. Sometimes I rotate my shoulder, really just feel into it. Just breathing here. Giving the sides of our core and our spine more love, okay? And then breathe in as we sit up straight. And then we're gonna take our right leg over our left. Elongate our spine nice and straight. Put your right arm behind you, send your left arm up, and we're gonna do a nice spine twist. Really again. Trying to look back behind that right shoulder, trying to just wake up that spine. Give that spine a little good morning kiss, letting that energy flow through it. Breathe out as we come center, really trying to match our movements with our breath. So we're gonna send our right leg out and our left leg is going to come in and again, arms up, and we're gonna breathe out as we forward fold over. Take a nice couple deep breaths here. And then breathe in as we straighten our spine out, sending our arms up, grabbing our left leg, putting it over our right, arm up and then twisting over that left shoulder, giving our spine a nice good morning kiss the opposite direction. I like to do yoga and stretches sometimes with a little extra dynamic movement. So you don't have to push yourself into one position and hold it. You can kind of breathe it in and out and do a little movement that feels good. It's all about wiggling the body and creating space, okay? Now we're gonna come back forward. Nice and softly stand up and we're gonna come back to the front of our mat here. <sighs> Getting a little more space, maybe giving yourself a couple more shoulder rolls. And we're gonna set ourselves up for a nice morning sun salutation, breathing in, forward folding, breathing out. Again, giving yourself a nice little stretch in the back of the legs. You can pick up the right heel and the left, kind of rotating through which leg you stretch a little bit more, okay? And then we're going to send our feet backwards into a nice plank. This, if you want, you can do, sometimes I add core here. We're not going to today. We're just going to give a nice, Roll through the spine into an upward dog. <sighs> really just feeling any tension in the lower spine, relaxing. Again, I like to kind of wiggle here, wiggle my butt, and just breathe into it. Some things that might be going into alignment, moving around. And the trick with this position is you want to keep a slight bend in the elbows, elbows into the rib cage and shoulders away from the ear. So you don't wanna be like this, you wanna be like this, okay? A couple breaths here. 
And then we're going to send our body up and we're gonna do cat cow here. So if you're in a nice tabletop position, remember rotating those elbows inward, not like this, we want them in. And we're going to do a nice breathe in as we curl our back down. And then a nice breathe out for cat. And setting your spine up to the ceiling. Again, sometimes I like to wiggle here. Breathing in, cow. Out, cat. And the next thing I like to do is kind of rotate my spine in a circle. Just gonna do one direction. Sometimes it's nice to move the hips with it too. And now we're gonna go in the other direction. Again, just a little movement forward and back, really giving that spine some space, okay? Now we're gonna send our knees out a little bit wider to the edge of our mats. You can bring your feet in, your ankles in a little bit. We're gonna sit back to give our shoulders a nice opening stretch, sending our arms out in front of us and really just pushing our each shoulder, one and the other, down into the mat to nice, give them a nice stretch, really open that space. And again, we wanna follow our breath. Just kind of, I like to rotate one shoulder down and then the other, or you can hold both down and really stretch your fingers out forward. Feel those shoulders opening up, okay? And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to all four, straightening out our legs, tucking our toes underneath, and sending us up to a downward dog here. And it's okay if you need to wiggle a little bit, get your position straightened out. I like to kind of send one heel down and then the other. Again, wiggling into this back, back of the legs. A couple tips with this position is that we wanna put our weight into our fingertips actually, so we're not hurting our wrists. And we wanna send our hips backwards. We don't wanna be like this. Think about sending your butt backwards, okay, and up. So now we're gonna take our right foot and we're gonna send it up to the sky. You can hang it over for a second, kind of open up that hip. Maybe you wanna roll your ankle again. And then we're gonna shift our weight forward and bring that right leg up next to our right hand. This is a li called lizard. It's, you're gonna feel this in your hip. We're here to open up our hips and our legs a little bit more. I kind of like to bounce here again, giving that hip a little dynamic stretch. Go ahead and let your left knee come down. Straighten out that left foot. And we're gonna bring our right ankle, our right foot heel in, and we are gonna come into what's called a runner's lunge. So then you can send your toes up to the ceiling so that that right leg is straight and that left leg is at a 90 degree angle. And this is all about stretching the back of the leg here, okay? So we're just gonna breathe into that. Again, sometimes I like to move, rotating my leg forward and backwards. And then we're going to take the, our toes to our left to kind of give us a nice little internal leg stretch, and if you need to, you can move your left foot, your left toes, to arrange that best for you so it works. And then I'll come back into runners and maybe go the other direction, send my toes to the right to kind of give me a nice stretch here. Again, we're just breathing and wiggling to whatever feels good. Now I'm going to heel toe my right foot now over to the left side of my mat and bring my right knee down so that I can come into pigeon pose. And this is to really open up the hip, that right hip. Again, it can be really intense. We store a lot of energy and emotions in our right hip. We store a lot of trauma and pain from the past, especially. So if this is really intense for you, it's okay, you just breathe into it. You can have a variation where you're up or you can bring it down and just kind of breathe and wiggle into it. 
taking as much time as you need here, a couple deep breaths. And then I'll come up, put plant both hands down, tuck my left toe under, send my right leg back, and we're back in downward dog here. Again, kind of putting, taking both of my heels to the mat to rotate and give a little stretch. And then we're gonna plant that right foot and send the left leg up, okay? Again, maybe open the hip, rotate the ankle for a moment, and then send that left leg up to the front of the mat next to the left hand, back into lizard. Give yourself a little movement here to start to open that hip. We're kind of taking it from an easy stretch into a more intense stretch with pigeon. Send your right knee down onto the mat, straighten out your right foot, and we're gonna bring that right, uh, that left ankle into the center of our mat and come to, over here for runner, our runner's lunge again. You can send your left toes up to the ceiling. That'll really help you feel that stretch in the back of your leg. And again, you can kind of move back and forth, and like move into it and enjoy it. Or just relax into here with a couple deep breaths. We're gonna send our toes to our right side. Again, I like to rotate my opposite leg to help me get a nice stretch on the inside of the groin here. And I like to just move. Where does it, where am I feeling the most stretch? Work with your body. These don't have to be perfect yoga poses. Nobody's watching you. What feels good, okay? And then we're gonna rotate that, the toes back up to the ceiling and over to the left side of our mat to kind of open up the outside of that leg. Give a nice little stretch there, okay? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> and then we'll heel toe our left leg to the right, right out edge of our mat. Bring that right knee, I'm sorry, that left knee down. And lower our weight down. Trying to keep the opposite leg straight in the back to really open up that hip, okay? And again, we can be up if we need this to be a little bit easier. Or you can come down. You can come all the way down if you want to really get into that hip. Just a couple of deep breaths here. Melting away any tension. Knowing that we're just giving our body lots of love and respect, presence and time here. Giving ourselves a big gift because we're worth it and we deserve it. Wiggle into that hip a little bit. And then now let's come up again. We're gonna send our left leg back and we're gonna come back into downward dog. A couple more ankles to the ground, rotating back and forth. Maybe you wanna stand still this time. Just give your body a nice stretch and big love. And then we're going to look to the front of our mat. You can hop or walk your way up. Whatever is comfortable and easy for you, okay? And now we're going to roll our spine one vertebrae at a time, including our neck, for us to stand up nice and tall and straight, okay? And so now we've spent a lot of time on the main muscles of our body. We've stretched our legs, we've stretched our spine, our hips, like our big muscles. So now we're gonna go in a little bit more detail. So what I love to do is pull the quad up, your right heel up. And a way you can set yourself up for this position is the left leg, you wanna bend the knee a little bit, bring the right leg up. Stretch out that front quad a little bit. Again, maybe a little bit of movement. Just sending attention to any muscles we missed. Now we're gonna plant our right foot, slight bend in the knee, bring the left leg up. Hmm. Nice, feels good, right? We'll send that down, plant ourselves. The last few little things I like to do here is we're gonna come down to a seated position. Usually I do this routine to set myself up for meditation. You can do whatever you want, but now let's give a little stretch to our arms. So you can come down in a seated position. 
Get yourself comfortable. We're gonna do a little neck and a little arms here, okay? So let's take our right arm straight, cross it in front of our chest. Our left arm can then hook underneath that arm and just pull that arm the, uh, towards the left. Really trying to get a nice stretch through the outside of the right arm. Maybe we look over the right shoulder. Maybe we rotate the right wrist a little bit and just breathe. And then we'll open up our chest. And now let's send our left line, arm over to the right, hook the right arm under. You can even pull that right arm some. Look over our left shoulder. Give that arm a little stretch. And then I like to do, again, more shoulder. So I'll take my left arm, grab your left elbow with your right hand, and just kind of pull that down sending your hand down behind your back. Again, opening up those shoulders, that chest space. And now we're gonna switch arms. Right arm, right hand down to the back. And your left hand grabbing your right elbow to kind of pull it in, okay? Breath or two here. And then just again, wiggle. Where does your body need a little movement? Now, sometimes I'll do a couple shoulder rolls and let's end with a nice head roll, okay? So send your head over your left shoulder. And just feel the stretch. Maybe you wanna send your right arm out and rotate your wrist. You can feel that more intense. And then you can go ahead and roll your head down and to the opposite side, right? Send your left arm out. Feel that nice stretch. Rotate your head down again to the left shoulder. You don't have to send your arm out each time. It's whatever's best. I like to. I think it makes the stretch a little bit more intense and then I feel better afterwards. And now let's rotate the head down into the right shoulder. Sending the left arm out again. Bring your arms down. Let's just do a nice neck roll around. We store so much tension in our neck and our shoulders. This whole routine is just about loving your body and releasing that tension. So go ahead and change directions of your neck roll. And you can kind of go back and forth just in your own flow with whatever feels best. Just making sure to give both sides, both directions, the same amount of love. <sighs> okay, friends, that is all. Thank you for joining me. If you would like to go into a meditation now, you might notice that your whole body feels a little bit more space and there's love and presence. So feel free to do that. If not, have a beautiful day, a beautiful night. I really appreciate you joining me for my meditation or for my uh, yoga practice here. And I'll see you guys soon.